All right then, Jangonauts, welcome to your very last Django tutorial. And in this video, I'd like to show you one more thing. So I'm on the article create screen at the minute, and I want to show you how we can automatically populate this slug field dependent on what we type here. So if I type hello world, for example, it comes back here and says hello hyphen world. Okay, so we have this hyphen instead of the space, and if there was capitals in here, we remove the capitalization, that kind of thing, to generate this automatic slug for you. So this is not Django code we're going to be using in this tutorial, just a bit of JavaScript, and if you don't understand this, I would recommend you to check out either my JavaScript for beginners tutorial or my JavaScript DOM tutorial, okay? So I am going to assume you do know a little bit about JavaScript to do this tutorial. So I've already created this slugify.js file in the assets folder. We're going to create our JavaScript there and I've linked this up to the article uh, creation uh, template right here because that's this page where we want to use it. So the first thing we need to do inside this slugify.js file is to grab a hold of this field right here and this input field and store them in constants because we're going to manipulate those fields in this tutorial. So let's store them both in a constant. We'll call the first one title and then input. Set that equal to document dot query selector. And inside here, we want to look for the input, which has a name property equal to title. So if we right click over here, then you're going to see that this input field has a name property of title. So we're going to grab that one right here. Likewise, this one has a name equal to slug. So we can equally, just as easy, grab that. So let's copy this thing, change it to slug input. And then this will be name equals slug. All right, so now we have those two fields. The next thing I'd like to do is add an event listener to this thing over here, because when a user types in here, that's when we want to do the work. We want to listen for that event and then populate this field. So we'll say title input which is the title field they'll be typing into dot add event listener to add this event listener the event we want to listen to is the key up event and the key up event is when the user presses a button then lifts the key up that is the key up event all right so we're listening for that event when that event occurs we're going to fire a callback function which takes the event and this is an arrow function and inside this function We'd like to later on kind of slugify whatever's typed in here. So if I type in, you know, blah, 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 it's going to slugify that into some kind of slug with hyphens. So I'm going to externalize this functionality into a separate function. So let's create a new constant called slugify. And this will be a function, arrow function again, which takes in a parameter val. And this value will be the value of this thing right here when it's called. So it's going to take this value. And inside the function, oops, when I can type correctly, inside the function, we'd like to take that value and slugify it. So we're going to return the slugified version at the end of this. So we'll say return, then the val, which is passed through. Then we're going to make sure that this is a string by saying to string. Then we'll say dot to lower case to make sure all the capitals are reduced to lowercase. Then we're going to trim any white space. OK, so that's white space from the ends. Then what we'd like to do is a couple of replace methods. And we're going to use regex here. So we're going to use regex to look for certain characters and then replace them with different things. So, for example, if a user types in here an ampersand sign like that, then we're going to replace that with instead hyphen and hyphen. OK, because it's more appropriate for a URL as well as other things as well, such as removing spaces or non word characters. So we'll say dot replace, and this first one is going to be replacing the and signs. So we'll say forward slash, then and, then forward slash g global, then it's going to be replaced with hyphen and hyphen. So that's the first one done. Let's just do a little comment here to say replace and with hyphen and. So we know what that does. Now the next one, replace is going to replace all the spaces, non-word characters and dashes, and it's going to replace all of those with a single dash. So inside here, we want forward slash, then your square brackets, 
then inside we want backslash s then backslash capital w then hyphen and then outside of the square bracket it's going to be a plus sign then forward slash g so that is going to be replaced with a hyphen and by the way this might be confusing if you don't know much about regular expressions and if you don't don't worry I'm going to do a whole series of regular expressions in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Um, I did cover regular expressions a little bit in previous tutorials in this series as well, so feel free to skip back if you want to refresh on those. So what this is doing right here is replaces spaces, um, non word cars, and dashes with a single dash. Okay. So we're doing all that now and we're returning it when we call this function. So we're taking this value in, we're turning it into a slug by doing all this replace stuff and turning it to lowercase and trimming it on all that jazz and we're returning the slug, okay? So we pass a value in, we get a value out. So now every time there's a key up event, we wanna pass a value in, whatever that value of this title is, and then return a value to us so that we can input it into this slug field automatically. So the way we're going to do that is by saying slug input, which is this thing down here. We're going to grab that and we're going to set an attribute on this. And the attribute we want to set is the value attribute, which is just whatever is inside it here. And that value is going to be slugify, which is the function we're calling that. And we're going to pass in a value, which is title input dot value. So every time now, there is a key up event on this thing over here. So now, 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 it's going to take this value. It's going to run it through this slugify function, return it to us, and it's going to set the attribute, the value attribute of this thing to that value. Make sense? So let's save this now and give it a whirl. Cross your fingers. And if I type in hell, oh, world, then you can see that this makes it into a slug. And if I do something like where's yoshi then it's going to turn it into this thing right here and yeah it's not perfect but you get the general idea you can tweak this to your own satisfaction so there we go that is how we can slugify our values and automatically create these urls for the user so i really hope my friends you've enjoyed this django tutorial and i will be doing other things with django as we go forward a lot of you have mentioned flask in this series and it's something i am going to be looking at as well so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this and that you have learned something at least. If you do like the videos, please, my friends, do not forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot. And I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial series.